Hi. Today I'm going to talk about some blessings of retirement, some blessings in retirement that might not have occurred to you. Certainly you would have felt them, but you mightn't have given them a lot of thought. Now I'm speaking from a person who had 44 years in the workforce across a wide variety of jobs the last 17 years of which was in the office environment. I've been retired now for 28 years, took voluntary redundancy at 59 and I'm now 87. So what are these things that you will find when you think about it as blessings in retirement compared with when you were working? Let's assume that you were working in an, a big corporation, a big organisation, certainly an organisation with a few people in it, with bosses, middle managements and so forth, middle managers I should say. One of the things that you no, no longer have once you've retired is what I will call thwarted ambition thwarted ambition. Remember you were working and you were always wanted that promotion or you wanted to transfer to a more salubrious location and no matter what you did, however hard you tried, you couldn't get it. You were always undermined in some way and you were frustrated. You don't have that anymore. What happens to you now is up to you. You make your own choices and that in itself is a blessing. You are your own boss. Now there is a bit of responsibility there. You're responsible for what happens in your life from here on out. Whereas before it was governed by other people. So that's a blessing in itself. What's another one? When you were working before, you had to watch the time. Not just the time at work, but the days of the week, the time to get up in the morning, the timetables to catch the bus or the train, to make sure the connections were there, to make sure you got there on time. In many ways, time ruled you. You were only allowed so long for the lunch hour or for the morning or afternoon tea, as the case may be. And if you went even a couple of minutes over, there were frowns and scowls and perhaps even threats of, you might no, no longer have your job. So you had to adhere to those times. You don't anymore. You make your own routine now. It's up to you. That is a freedom in itself. Did you ever think about that when you thought about retirement? Then of course, we have the, the rules, the regulations, the laws of the workplace. Some of those rules and regulations were written down. Some were unspoken, but they were there. You had to adhere to them. Otherwise, perhaps you'd get the sack. You'd be laid off. Certainly wouldn't be promoted. You had to toe the line. You might have even had to felt that you had to suck up to the boss a bit to get his or her smiles and goodwill. Not any longer. These are blessings. No thwarted ambitions anymore. Any ambitions you have now, you make for yourself. This doesn't mean to say you can't have them, but they're the ones that you decide upon. You're not chasing after the, the, the promotion anymore. Unless it's a promotion in a voluntary organisation and you'll find that it's probably easy to get anyway. Now you have your own routines. Get up when you want, but 
You still need to have discipline. You still need to work out a routine for yourself, a comfortable routine for you. Over that seven day week, you might prefer to work seven days a week now in a voluntary job or not at all. Whatever you choose, it's up to you. These are freedoms. These are blessings that you take into retirement. Be aware of them. Think about them. Revel in them. This is your life in retirement. You've probably never been so free in your life. Enjoy it. Enjoy it. Get out there and live and enjoy the rest of your life.